And now, the nations of the world, brought to you by Yakko Warner. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and French Guiana, Barbados, and Guam. Norway and Sweden and Iceland and Finland and Germany now hold one piece. Switzerland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey and Greece. Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman. Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq and Iran. There's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both Yemen's Kuwait and Bahrain. The Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium and Portugal, France, England, Denmark and Spain. India, Pakistan, Burma, Afghanistan, Thailand, Nepal, and Bhutan. Cambodia, Malaysia, then Bangladesh, Asia, and China, Korea, Japan. Mongolia, Laos, and Tibet, Indonesia, the Philippine Islands, Taiwan. Sri Lanka, New Guinea, Sumatra, New Zealand, and Borneo, and Vietnam. Tunisia, Morocco, Uganda, Angola, Zimbabwe, Djibouti, Botswana. Mozambique, Zambia, Swaziland, Gambia, Guinea, Algeria, Ghana. Rwanda, Lesotho, and Malawi, Togo, the Spanish Sahara is gone. Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Liberia, Egypt, and Nina, Gabon. Tanzania, Somalia, Kenya, and Mali, Sierra Leone, and Algeria. Dahomey, Namibia, Senegal, Libya, Cameroon, Congo, Zaire, Ethiopia, Guinea, Bissau, Madagascar, Rwanda, Mayor, and Cayman. Hong Kong, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Yugoslavia. Korea, Mauritania, then Transylvania, Monaco, Lichtenstein, Malta, and Palestine, Fiji, Australia, Sudan. <laughs> Do you know the names of the U.S. residents who then became the presidents and got a view from the White House Lou of Pennsylvania Avenue? George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. President number two would be John Adams and then number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night. So he and his wife had a great big fight and she made him sleep on the couch all night. James Madison never had a son, and he fought the War of 1812. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's butt he kicks. So Jackson learns to play politics next time he's the one that the country picks. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one-term shot as chief of state. William Harrison, how do you praise that guy was dead in 30 days? John Tyler, he liked country folk. And after him came President Polk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke his breath, killed friends whenever he spoke. 1850, really nifty, Miller Fillmore's in. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Follows next a period spanning, four long years with James Buchanan. Then the South starts shooting cannon, and we got a civil war. A war, a war down south in Dixie. Up to bat comes old Abe Lincoln. There's a guy who's really thinking. Kept the United States from shrinking. Saved the ship of state from sinking. Andrew Johnson's next. He had some slight defects. Congress each would impeach. And so the country now elects. Ulysses Simpson Grant, who would scream and rave and rant. While drinking whiskey, oh, the risky, cause he'd fill it on his pants. It's 1877 and the Democrats would gloat. But they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. James Garfield, someone really hated cause he was assassinated. Chester Arthur gets instated, four years later he was traded. Lord Grover Cleveland, really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. Then Benjamin Harrison, after that, it's William McKinley at the back. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill, and President Taft, he got the bill. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War I. Warren Harding next in line. It's Calvin Coolidge, he does fine. And then in 1929, the market crashes and we fight. It's Herbert Hoover's big debut, he gets the blame and loses too. Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War II. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms and when he's done. It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. John Kennedy had Camelot, then Lyndon Johnson took his spot. Richard Nixon, he gets caught and Gerald Ford fell down a lot. <laughs> Jimmy Carter liked camping trips And Ronald Reagan's speeches scripts All came from famous movie clips And President Bush said, read my lips Now in Washington, D.C. There's Democrats and the GOP But the ones in charge are plain to see The Clintons, Bill and Hillary 
the next president to lead the way. Well, it just might be yourself one day. Then the press will distort everything you say. So jump in your plane and fly away. And now, Yakko Warner sings about time. When you're traveling from Nantucket to Chicago to St. Paul, and you're standing in an airport and you look up on the wall, there's a clock for every city and a different time for all, from Asia through Malaysia to Peru. Did you ever wonder why that when it's 10 o'clock in Maine, at precisely the same moment it is 3 a.m. in Spain, when it's breakfast time in Rome, they're having lunch in the Ukraine, and it's supper up in Upper Kathmandu. If the earth were spinning faster as the sun is going faster, then a day would only be an hour long. And school, when they begin it, would only last a minute before everybody has to run along. All right. If the earth were the planet that was closest to the sun, a year would be much shorter and you'd have a lot of fun. Cause by the time you were in first grade, you'd be over 21. And you'd live to be 903 or 4. Time is relative, dependent. You can save it, you can spend it. Doing things you like to do or learning how. You can't see it, you can't taste it. But you certainly can waste it. Which is really what we're doing here right now. The international datelines, an imaginary cleft. Today is on the right side and tomorrow's on the left. So when you cross it, do you then arrive the day before you left? That's how it works. It's quite berserk, you see. So if you were born in China while I'm born in Carolina, well, then you're a day ahead of me, you see. So the way I've got it reckoned, if we're born in the same second, then why should you be a day older than me? But it really is no miracle, that difference in our birth. Because the world is spherical, that's why around the Earth there's always different times for Moscow, London, Boston, and Fort Worth. And that's the way it's always gonna be. So remember, when you're traveling from Nantucket to St. Paul, in that airport as you're staring at those clocks up on the wall, you should think about this song, my friend, and then you will recall that it was mildly amusing, but then totally confusing. Lucky that you wish we had a song at all. The names of all 50 states and their capitals. Okay. Here goes. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Columbus is the capital of Ohio. There's Montgomery, Alabama, south of Helena, Montana, then there's Denver, Colorado, under Boise, Idaho. Texas has Austin, then we go north to Massachusetts, Boston, and Albany, New York. Tallahassee, Florida, and Washington, D.C. Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Nashville, Tennessee. Elvis used to hang out there a lot, you know. Trenton's in New Jersey, north of Jefferson, Missouri. You got Richmond in Virginia, South Dakota has Pierre, Harrisburg's in Pennsylvania, and Augusta's up in Maine. And here is Providence, Rhode Island, next to Dover, Delaware. Concord, New Hampshire, just a quick jaunt to Montpelier, which is up in Vermont. Hartford's in Connecticut, so pretty in the fall. And Kansas has Topeka, Minnesota has St. Paul. Juno's in Alaska, and there's Lincoln in Nebraska, and it's Raleigh out in North Carolina, and then there's Madison, Wisconsin, and Olympia in Washington, Phoenix, Arizona, and Lansing, Michigan. Here's Honolulu, Hawaii's a joy, Jackson, Mississippi, and Springfield, Illinois, South Carolina with Columbia down the way, and Annapolis and Maryland on Chesapeake Bay. They have wonderful clam chowder. Cheyenne is in Wyoming, and perhaps you make your home in Salt Lake City, out in Utah, where the buffalo roam. Atlanta's down in Georgia, and there's Bismarck, North Dakota, and you can live in Frankfurt in your old Kentucky home. Salem in Oregon, from there we join. Little Rock in Arkansas, Iowa's got Des Moines, Sacramento, California, Oklahoma, and its city. Charleston, West Virginia, and Nevada, Carson City. That's all the capitals there are. Everybody lives on a street, in a city, or a village, or a town, for what it's worth. And they're all inside a country, which is part of a continent that sits upon a planet known as Earth. 
And the Earth is a ball full of oceans and some mountains Which is out there spinning silently in space And living on that Earth are the plants and the animals And also the entire human race It's a great big universe and we're all really puny We're just tiny little specks about the size of Mickey Rooney It's big and black and icky and we are small and dinky It's a big universe and we're not We're part of a vast interplanetary system stretching 700 billion miles long. With nine planets and a sun, we think the Earth's the only one that has life on it, although we could be wrong. Across the interstellar voids are a billion asteroids, including meteors and Halley's Comet, too. And there's over 50 moons floating out there like balloons in a panoramic trillion-mile view. And still it's all a speck amid a hundred billion stars in a galaxy we call the Milky Way. It's 60,000 trillion miles from one end to the other And still that's just a fraction of the way Cause there's a hundred billion galaxies that stretch across the sky Filled with constellations, planets, moons and stars And still the universe extends to a place that never ends Which is maybe just inside a little jar It's a great big universe and we're all really puny We're just tiny little specks about the size of Mickey Rooney Though we don't know how it got here We're important pioneer, it's a big universe